Welcome to Shorty Supercoach guys and welcome to the footy tips, what's going on? Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> um, doing it on a Monday morning, I'll schedule it and still um, upload it like normal time Wednesday but I'm going to take the old uh, laptop in to get fixed. Hopefully it's a quick fix and hopefully it's just a couple of days job and they don't have to muck around too much but I just wanted to, yeah, given I didn't really know how long it'd take, I thought I'd do this and just uh, schedule it but Feel free to chuck your footy tips in below. I'm absolutely fuming about the Gold Coast Suns. I really thought they were going to win. I was really confident. And I was drinking on Saturday night. I checked the scores, you know, every now and then. I remember they were up and I thought, yep, they're going to just get this done. And they did not. So I'm filthy at that. And I reckon it's going to cost me. I reckon I've dropped out of the top 10 here. I'll be interested to see. Yeah, I'm 10th. I'll be interested to see how many did tip. Um the pies in that top little bit but we've got a fair few in the equal lead now so very interesting we've got five on 97 robos up the top there with the margin just by one one point back to bed um and then there i am just in front of chappy i'm still two behind did all right with the margin had the lines by a little bit more than some but um, happy to get that margin, but otherwise, yeah, it was it was a tough week, a few upsets, but yeah, I reckon what would have split people was that Gold Coast versus Collingwood one. So I'm disappointed, still within touch, um, but I need to start climbing up if I'm going to really shake this top five of the league. So good luck to you if you're right up there. Um, and this week, this week, now this a few weeks back, I was going to tip Melbourne all day long. I'm not biased, I am, you know, <laughs> full disclosure, absolute Cats fan, but I am going to tip Geelong. Now, the D's, I know they were fantastic at the G when they smashed whoever it was the other week, Brisbane, but other than that, you know, their last month or so, I don't reckon it's been that good, and Geelong's actually has been really good. I think Melbourne are a better team, and it's certainly their best is definitely better. But down in Geelong, we are so hard to beat. And I am looking for a point of difference tip when I can. And Geelong, 44%, 50-50 game. I'm going to have to go to the Cats. Look, I'll, I'll go just by the nine points, but um, that's going to be the one that if I go wrong there, I'm probably falling even further from that top ten. I'm going to tip the Swans here pretty confidently. Now... I know the dogs, uh, you know, blew a chance at the Gabba really, started well, but their season's really tapered away now. And the Swans, well, they weren't too impressive either. They lost to the Dons, and the SCG isn't always a happy hunting ground for them. I don't know why. Maybe that's just something that's in my head from previous years, but I'm going to tip the Swans. I think they're a better side, and, and just at the home ground, I'm going to have to respect that, so I'll tip them. Confident on the pies. Very confident on the pies. Now, I'm going to tip the Tigers here. Few tipping the Suns, but look, after they messed me over last week, um, I still think Richmond are a great team, and I, I wouldn't put it past the Suns knocking them off, but I'm not going to put my tip on it. <laughs> I'm not going to put my tip on it. Now, real interesting here that 72% have the Dockers. Now, I want to tip the Saints here, I think, because um, I remember I tipped the... Dockers against the Blues and that was at Marvel and their record there is a disgrace now <laughs> I typed Eddie had stuck in the old school there um, I wonder if I can find their their record AFL Stadium Analysis yeah that works that works because um, I reckon it's terrible Marvel Stadium, yeah, 36%. Is this right? Have we got this right? Yeah, head-to-head. -head. So it's not good. I, I feel like I want to dive in further to that. Oh, the Cats have got a pretty damn good record there. So look at that, Freo have the worst record aside from the Suns. And and obviously the Saints, it is their home deck. Look, I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to have to think about it, but for now, I'm going to land with the Saints. 
just want to dive a little bit deeper and think about that a little bit more. Tip and port, I ain't tipping the Giants. Any time I have to half think about tipping the Giants, it's a no. Very confident to, on Brisbane and the Hawks for sure at Marvel. Adelaide are a pretty plucky side, but still going to go with them. I wouldn't be surprised if West Coast, you know, take it up to the Blues. I just think they've, they've found a bit more of a level, but you still, you can't tip them. So, a couple of upset tips there. I'd love to know how you guys saw them. Um, I definitely need to think a little bit more about that St Kilda and Freo one, but I know the Dockers are playing great footy and, you know, they, they are impressive, but they only just got over the line over Port. And, yeah, I don't know. It's a really interesting one. I thought the Saints looked like they found their brand again against the Blues. So, going to have to give that one some thinking. But, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, hopefully. I'll schedule this one for midweek and, um, yeah, we can do it all good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shorty's uh, no issues, man. That's, uh, that's great. But um, we'll do it all again soon. Cheers, guys.